What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Team 69 Crew channel. My name is Midget and in this video I'm going to be doing some Forza Horizon 2. Um, this is for the hype for Forza Horizon 3 and we're going to be doing a ridiculous build on a Honda Civic. We're going to go with the old school 1997 Civic and we're going to try and do as many upgrades performance wise as we can to get the car as fast as we can. So we're going to start off with, I'm just going to buy a random download paint there because I can't really ask with the... Uh, with the rest of it but what we're going to do is try and get this sort of like a sleeper as such so it's sort of like one of those cars where you don't expect it to be really fast but when you go to race it with other performance cars it's going to be really quick right, right so what we're going so to do first do is go straight into custom upgrade you don't want to do a uh, automatic upgrade because that'd be silly so we're going to go straight into uh we'll do the conversion actually we'll do an engine swap probably not an aspiration convert i don't want to change the drive terrain um so we've got the stock Civic engine in this at the minute. We can put a two liter V, uh, two liter fourteen double VT, or we can put the one point six liter fourteen turbo rally in. So we go straight into the drive terrains. We don't. We sh we should do the clutch and stuff. Clutch obviously comes in handy for the gear shifts, um, and then the race transmission, so you can customize it. Don't put the off-road transmission in because that'd be a silly idea. <laughs> Unless you're making a rally build, which would be pretty insane. I reckon a a rally build Civic would be pretty awesome. But we'll stick with the. Uh, the basics for now. Uh, come on in. Okay, the game will crash then. That was weird. Uh, right, so now we've done those. We'll skip the brakes and stuff. We'll go straight into the engine. We'll see what the stock engine can do. So go back to the stock engine. And then we'll rebuy the turbo and stuff. So we've got the air filters, which we want to try and beat 433 horsepower. So we're currently at 197. Uh, 217. This should actually make the 433 mark, if not a bit more. Hopefully, <laughs> he says. <laughs> so, got the ignition. See, that some of these ignition things only give you like 17 horsepower, which isn't great. But you get to the things like the turbo, the uh, sorry, the engine block and the turbos, and you should be in the business pretty much. So we've got the cams and uh, valves here. So this should put it up quite a lot. This has gone from 230-ish to 340. Um, and we've still got a few more to put in. So we've got the engine swap race valves. Here we go. 361 horsepower. So we've still got to beat the 433. Um, if it doesn't beat 433, I'll just go into the aspiration conversion and see if we can put a turbo into it or like a supercharger or something maybe. Um, what else we got? So 424 so far, so we're only like 9 horsepower away from what we were, which is pretty interesting. There's 436, so we've beaten what we had. Right, and then the flywheel, obviously you need one of them because it's going to fuck up your engine otherwise. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the aspiration because I bought all the rest of it. Um, aspiration conversion, see if we can get, yes we can. So should we get tool? It's definitely got to be the turbo, not the supercharger. So 464 brake horsepower in a Honda Civic. And if we quickly go into the setup manager, I'll uh, no, I won't. Okay, that's different. I want to tune the car now. Here we go. So what we're going to want to do? It looks like the gears are pretty spaced out at the minute, but I want to try and get as much out of it as I can. So we're going to try and go for the 200 mile an hour mark, which is going to be pretty interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do is increase the tire pressure. Um, obviously if you lower the tyre pressure it increases grip whereas a higher tyre pressure will increase sort of like the, the float of the car that's bullshit the float of the car <laughs> there's a technical term for it somewhere but the float of the car is what we're going with <laughs> um, we don't want to get any body modifications I don't want downforce or anything like that so we're going to go straight into uh, leaving the garage and we're going to take it straight to the airfield so we've got a 400 and... What did I say it was? Something. <laughs> we've got a 400 plus horsepower car. Okay, so we've got to the airfield. We're going to try and see what sort of speed we can get from this uh, Tune Civic now. And like I said, it's just basically going to be like a sleeper car for online. So that if, obviously, when you're cruising about online, you see like a Porsche or maybe a, a low-end Ferrari, maybe. <laughs> it's not going to be an a Ferrari or anything like that. <laughs> but a sleeper car, obviously... It's going to look shit, but when you go to race it, it's going to be pretty decent. So we're going to see what we can get out of a straight line from this. Obviously, the launch isn't going to be great because it's front-wheel drive. And obviously, the steering's at the front as well, so it's going to be uh, sort of conflicting each other. But it's always a straight line, so we should be okay. So here we go.
I was aiming for 200, we're approaching 180, but I think we're going to run out of runway before we hit 200 mile an hour, which is going to suck. There's 190, I'm not going to stop, we're just going for it. Oh, see it's 195, see I could probably tune this gear a little bit better um, and get 200 out of it. So if I was to lower, I reckon I could do this, if I can, can I tune the car from here? I must be able to, hang on. Uh, right, cars, here we go. Can I tune? Yes, we can. Right. So what we're going to try and do is lower the gear in a little bit. Um, just so that I can reach the 200 mile an hour mark maybe sooner than the end of the runway. So we're going to try and do it again on the return run. We're going to try and get 200 mile an hour now. If I get 200 mile an hour at this Civic, I'll be impressed. So uh, here we go for run number two. Ah, oh, see, 196 that time. That is, 200 mile an hour is possible in this car. We can see it, it just runs out of runway. That's the only thing. So I, th I think in a straighter road, like on a motorway, this would hit 200, maybe 204. But I don't think I'm gonna hit 200 mile an hour on the runway, because it's not long enough, which is kind of ironic. It's a couple of miles long. <laughs> We're gonna try and go from the grass, maybe, see if that makes a difference, just get that extra couple of feet. But um, we'll soon see. So 50 mile an hour in first gear, usually. It's the third and final run. I know 200 mile an hour can come out of this car, which is fantastic, to be fair, for a Honda Civic. Um, but like I say, I'm going to try and do a load of videos like this for steeper cars. Oh, see, I just keep running that runway 196 again. So hopefully guys you enjoyed this video, as you can see we made a 464 brake horsepower front wheel drive Honda Civic drag car. Um, it can do 200 miles an hour as we can see but the runway isn't long enough to hit it but it is possible in the car. So if you enjoyed this video I'm going to try and make some more videos like this in the future of some sleeper cars or some cars you wouldn't expect to hit 200 mile an hour or be good in a straight line against other cars. Um, I'll bring those out in the future. Um, yeah, if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe, hit the like button below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.